So John, first things first, talk us through how your season's been so far. You know, you're so far your league two's leading goal scorer, you're the club's leading goal scorer. So what's it been your side of the fence? Um, yeah, it's been good. I've had, I've had a good season so far. Uh, scored a few goals and uh, yeah, I've been happy with it personally. I uh, just wish we were doing doing a bit better, you know, we want to get promotion. You know, a, few, a few results haven't gone that our way recently. I think the performance have been good. So I think as long as we keep performing well, we've still got ten games to go. We'll try and get some get some points and, and get the promotion we all want. And how are the lads feeling? Do they feel like that's still a possibility? Definitely, I feel like they do we do because we, like I said we've been playing well. I think we'll be more alarmed if um, if we weren't playing well and the results weren't going our way, but I feel like because we've been playing well, like Portsmouth, Cambridge, we deserve stuff out of that game. We deserve to win at Portsmouth, we deserve at least a point at Cambridge. Games like that, so again, Blackpool, 2 new up, should have done better as a team to, to make sure we saw that game out. So just little signs that act like show positive signs, so we just want to make sure we, we do well these last 10 games. And, Show what we're really capable of. So, with that in mind, then how are you boys keeping focused? You know, how are you making sure you're you're on, on track? I'm um, just doing the right things in training. Like I said, what we've been doing in training has been displayed on the pitch. You know, maybe not the results. And I feel like just just the little little inches that make a difference that we need to start putting right. So, for you personally, any goals stand out for you? Stand out? Um, probably Newport away. Um, Second goal, when you put away, I like that goal. But I like them all. I like scoring goals and just and then keep getting more. And how do you feel personally? Do you feel settled here? Uh, yeah, definitely. I feel, uh, I feel like this has been a good, good set up for myself. Um, like I say, it's kind of given me an opportunity to, to play regular football. So I'm the Martin Allen at first and now the new Gaffer. So yeah, just yeah, feel happy. Feel happy just playing regular. What's the morale like in the dressing room? What's it like with the lads? Uh, like I said, it's good because, uh, like I said, we've been playing well. So we just need to reflect that in our results. So morale's good at the moment. So looking ahead to the rest of the season, for you personally, what do you hope to achieve? Uh, more goals. More goals. Plain and simple. Keep getting in uh, the right positions to, to score goals and then, uh, keep trying to take them chances. We just recently signed your brother full-time. So that must be nice for you to have, you know, a family connection here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I think he was here before. They got offered a deal before as well, which he turned down. But, um, the chairman and staff liked him a lot, so obviously put him back in. So yeah, it's good for him. He can prove himself as well. Let's just quickly talk about your career, John, before you came here. And yeah. um, for anyone who doesn't know, give us a quick crash course on where you came <laughs> from. <laughs> crash course. Uh, started in a conference in Ebb Street. Uh, played about six months and then went on to Bristol City in the championship for when I was 19. For about three years I was signed there. Um, didn't really play that much, a lot of uh, sub appearances in the championship. Then went on loan here and there, Wickham mainly, uh, Mr. Rovers, Dagenham, all loan spells. Um, and then signed for Crawley when I left Bristol. Uh, had 18 months there, but again, I don't feel like I was given the opportunity as I had been at Barnet to play and show showcase what I'm what I can do. There's always again, yeah, I, I made quite a few appearances for Crawley, but I think I only started about six games in the 18 months that I was there, so it was quite a frustrating time. But we were doing well as a team, so it was difficult to to complain. We got promoted, as I said, in that in that year, so. And then I went on to uh, Portsmouth, same thing happened there. Wasn't really given the opportunity uh, to play. And that's when I decided to drop down again to Alfreton. Where again, I was given the opportunity by Nicky Law to just play football, which is what I want to do. And he gave me the opportunity to showcase what I could do. And uh, from there, I signed for Barnet. And the rest is history. So with Crawley coming to town this weekend, do you feel any... Any sort of connection, any rivalry against them? Uh, no, no there. rivalry. Uh, like I said, I feel like uh, the fans were always good to me while I was there. I always, always appreciated the fans there, like because I weren't didn't really score while I was there. Kept coming on. Like I said, ten minutes here, ten minutes there. So yeah, I, like I said, I got promotion there, which always part of, part of my memory, part of my history. So yeah, just 
So would you say you're the kind of player that needs regular time? Get yourself into a rhythm, get yourself into a swing to find your form? Uh, I think that's any player, really. I think if you're any player, you need game time. You know, match fitness, match sharpness, which is also important. You can train as much as you want, but you need, you need to be at match pace, match speed. And it's difficult to do it if you're not, if you're not playing, I believe. And yeah, I, I would, I'm one of my players, as I believe every player just needs that regular time to to showcase what you can do. So long term, past this season, how do you see things playing out with Barnett and yourself? Uh, long term, just trying to get promoted. That's the, the main focus on my head and the team. So just focus on that and then see where that takes us and myself. Final question. What about the fans since you've come to Barnett? What have the fans been like to you? Uh, you liked? Similar to Cooley. They've always been good to me. Really, really appreciated it. All the support. I see him singing my name, which is always nice to hear. Fans appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, they've always been good to me, so I appreciate that a lot.